All right, this is the Homesteady Masterclass. How to get livestock when you don't own a pickup truck. If you've been watching our channel for like 10 minutes, then you've probably seen us pick up animals in the back of a van. <laughs> It is stinky. It makes your stomach like, oh, upset. We have a Nissan Envy, which one of the beautiful things about the Nissan Envy is that the seats pop out, they're modular, they pop out super easy. So we pick up a ton of animals in the back of our van, and I'm gonna show you all the things that we do. We've learned over years and years and years of homesteading without a pickup truck, how to get animals, or without a livestock trailer, how to get animals without it totally ruining your vehicle. First thing, make sure you never ever do, never ever do this with a, like male, adult, buck, goat, and rut. Just don't do, trust me, don't do it. <laughs> These guys. Stinky. First step, tarp. I like to make like a bowl with my tarps. Think about it, the animals you're picking up, they all pee standing up. So if they stand up and pee while you're parked somewhere and it, your tarp is just flat on the ground, it could get under, behind and under your tarp and just get on your carpet. Okay, I got my first tarp down. Now I'm gonna put another heavy duty one on the floor just to be another layer protecting the car floor. Okay, a couple tarps are in there. The next thing that I'm gonna do once I got a couple tarps in there is I'm gonna spread some straw. Straw is gonna help with the smells. If an animal does poop or pee or just the smell of the animal, it's gonna neutralize that as you're driving. It's also going to absorb any pee that the animal or poop the animal makes. So, some straw layer. Okay, we got a straw layer down. Now this is very important. I would never put animals in the back of this without something to keep them from like jumping over your seat and trying to drive the car because Trust me, I've had some goats in the back that I think would have jumped over the seat and grabbed that steering wheel and gone back to the farm where they came from. Now we gotta put in the dog crates. You'll notice I have the tarp on top of some of that straw and then this all like curls around it, the tarp. That way, again, if pee were to get out of it, it'd be kind of caught in the bowl. And when I close the door to this, I'm gonna make sure that the bowl is up so it catches the pee and then the pee will be absorbed by the straw so there won't be like a puddle of pee when you open the door. I'm gonna put more straw inside of the crate with the animal. Ready for my second dog crate. Okay, we are ready to go. We're all ready to hit the road and go pick up our new livestock. We said in yesterday's video we were getting ready to get some new livestock and a little bit sooner than we had expected to get them, but we wanna make sure we get these animals before all travel is shut down in our state because of the COVID-19 issues. So today we're gonna hit the road, we're gonna go out, we're gonna pick up some livestock, and while we're out, we're gonna stop and 
uh, pick up some more feed from one of our feed supply stores just to make sure we're stocked up because if things shut down for a long time, if you know a couple weeks go by and we can't travel, we want to make sure we have the animals and we're stocked up on feed and we're good to go. So let's go. I almost forgot to tell you, I got a couple more pro tips for you when you're about to go on your livestock run in a vehicle that's not a trailer. First, animals can be very noisy when you go and get them and you take them away from the home they're used to. So a dark tarp that you put over their crate can help calm them and quiet them. If it's just you going for the drive and you don't mind bringing a pair of earplugs, if you're picking up noisy animals like goats, they can be very noisy for a lot of the ride. So be prepared with some earplugs. And if you didn't listen to me and you're going to get a stinky animal and put it inside your car, make sure to get yourself some Vicks Vapor Rub and a napkin and just tie that around your face. Ah, this is a dad trick. If you got really bad dirty diapers, this is a good thing. You just take a little Vicks, Keep it on a rag, put it on your lapel, or if you're really serious and it really smells maybe a little bit on the mustache. You got a mustache to put it on? No. That smell will overpower any stinky smell. So that buck back there, look out, we got a little Vicks here. <laughs> it looks so gross. <laughs> you look like you picked your nose. Mm. You'll thank me, because you didn't listen to me but then you'll thank me if you listen to me about that. But don't go get a stinky animal. Rent a trailer for that. Who's ready for a road trip? A nice COVID road trip. No stops. No snacks, That's no fun. Our sheep are loaded up and we're headed back to the homestead because we're on a COVID road trip. No stops, no snacks, no fun. <laughs> Smells like an animal just urinated. <laughs> <laughs> what does urinated mean? It's a pig. Well, that's one easy way to unload some lambs. Right there, that's why you do a couple layers of tarps and you, you bowl it all up because there's a lot of pee there. And that would be really stinky in your car, but we caught it all. 
I can take all that and just drain it out. Close the gate and get back to the house. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to get back to. Well, actually, we're going to be milking a camel in a second, but it is time for the Homesteady Camel Train shout out puppy edition. Today's video was brought to you by Bree and Seth Ludke. They joined the Homesteady Pioneer Camel Train. We're doing 100 days of videos off the homestead about growing your own food, milk, meat, puppies. Not for food. Puppies aren't for food. Not, not these puppies. And this episode was brought to you by Bree and Seth. Bree and Seth raise pastured poultry and beef from their homestead and also breed Labrador Retrievers. These are not Labrador Retrievers. These are Shepherdors, Brie. But they're pretty cute. I think the kids and Kay are gonna miss all these little puppies. Hi. I've tried not to spend too much time with them because I know if I do, I'll wanna keep all of them. But I have enough dogs. Okay, I know where those tongues have been. If you click the link below, you can check out Gone by Dawn Farmstead's website. There you'll find their Labrador puppies, you'll find chicken rental opportunities, all kinds of other cool stuff. So go ahead and say thank you to them for today's video. Check out their website, especially if you're looking for pasture poultry or beef or puppies and you live near Minnesota, because that's where they're from. So thank you guys for being the sponsors for this episode. Your awesome one of a kind Pioneer Train t-shirt is on the way. You have lifetime access to the Pioneer program. There's a lot in there. Interviews from John Siskovich about pasture poultry and making money with that. Also, there's stuff about cattle and beef, so hopefully you enjoy that. Maybe some other videos, courses that you'll enjoy. And you have lifetime access to that. And uh, you got your shout out. If you wanna join the camel train, we're down to like 10 tickets left. So if you want to join the train, get your, sh your shirt, your shout out, and lifetime membership, you gotta click there. Let's get back, I'm about to milk a camel and uh, see what I get in the barn for an evening haul. All right, puppies, let's do this. Back to the regular video. Oh, hey, hey. we lent this little livestock carrier out and uh, we got it back and nobody ever cleaned it out of all the nasty sheep poop that was in here. And now it's like a sheep poop soup. We're gonna use this little thing as their their house. This is the livestock carrier I made. You can watch that video to see this thing. I made this so you could strap it, strap it in the back of a vehicle and pick up livestock. We didn't use it today because we weren't picking up big stinky livestock, just little sheep. Uh, but this thing is nice, it's warm, and uh, we'll fill it up with hay and the little sheep can all pile in there and stay cozy and warm overnight. if it ever drains all the sheep poop soup, that is.
finally, finally getting some eggs on a steady basis. I held off all year on using artificial light and uh, now we're getting about four or five a day which is bare bones minimum for our family. So we're getting eggs, eggs, milk, there's our, our evening haul. <laughs> 